Zeppo's bar, it's special. It's a local's bar at the top of Whistler Black Hole. It's also very welcoming to people that haven't been there before. It's not just a bar, it's the legacy of Zeppo. Seppo Makinen came from Finland, and at a young age, Seppo decided to travel the world, and he became a contract logger. The push came for the Garibaldi Lift Company to build a ski resort in Whistler, and Seppo got the contract to log all the trees to build the runs. Seppo's old lunch box, I'm sure it was quite full to maintain the amount of energy that those loggers needed. It's certainly not Tupperware. Carrying these large blocks up and down hillsides, it's very, very dangerous work. Things can fly in the air and snap. It really takes a special kind of person that is rugged, strong, fearless, and also knows how to watch out for their fellow workers. Everyone loves Zeppos, but it's been a while since anything has been done to it. If you imagine 30 years of ski boots hitting that same piece of wood in front of the bar. It had gotten a little bit worn down. When news of the renovations came out, there was some concern about, well, is it still going to be Zeppos? They didn't want anything lost that would affect the feel of the bar. We partnered up with Labatt and a design team to make sure we're not losing sight of the importance of history. We have kept pieces of memorabilia. Photos of Zeppo still here and the sign, new signage is great. But also bringing the bar into the 21st century by upgrading several services and integrating a window to the outdoors. I walked up the steps and I was blown away by the layout and the planters that really bring that outdoor living space to life. I'm really excited about uh, everyone seeing it. We used to have live entertainment, so that is a plan of bringing live entertainment back. The official opening of the bar is going to happen in November with the 2024-25 winter season. It's wonderful that Seppo's legacy can carry on. The stories I've heard from some of the older locals that knew him, the way he just welcomed everybody into his house. A lot of times people's first place to stay was at Seppo's and that got them on their feet. He would say, you pay me when you get the money, it's okay. He was a very generous and forgiving man. You could see that people loved him for it. They were eternally grateful. When the returning guests are here, they can reflect on this and they can share that story with the guests that have never been here before. Seppo always said, I don't have to travel the world to see the world. I can hear all about it from all the people that come here. It's gonna be a great community gathering space. It's definitely continuing his legacy of welcomeness. Hello. And when you look outside the windows, you have to remind yourself and pinch yourself to remember where you are. Just another day in paradise. That was Seppo's signature phrase. And when you could see him anywhere, you say, Seppo, how's it going? He goes, ah, just another day in paradise.